Likewise, as Zubair bin Awam, the disciple of the Prophet Wasallam, this great companion, he was killed right after or during uh, the Battle of al Jamal. This was a battle also of great fitna, and uh, two groups of companions were fighting. But it wasn't started by them, it was started by other troublemakers who, who went into both camps and started killing around them, and it was big confusion. Bottom line is, uh, Zubair ibn Awam, he left the battlefield. He, he didn't take part in the battle. Okay? And a, a man by the name of Amr ibn Jurmuz followed uh, Zubair. And he came near him on, so Ibn Zubair now, Zubair is going back to Mecca, Zubair ibn Awam. And Ibn Amr ibn Jurmuz, he, he followed Zubair. So he's going to accompany him. Basically, he wants to murder Zubair ibn Awam, this great companion. And I don't know what would possess a man to want to murder a great companion, the Prophet ﷺ. But the point is, Ibn Jurmuz came near when he got closer to Zubair. Zubair and his servant were on their way back to Mecca. So Zubair turned and he saw Ibn Jurmuz. And when he saw the look on his face, he could just tell, and as a believer with his firafa, he could tell that this man was going to kill him. So he tells his servant, I see death in this man's face and he's going to come to kill me. So the servant said, then you kill him. And the Zubair said, even though Zubair was sure this man will kill him, quite sure, and from his look, but he says to his servant, with what excuse? Like, how can I just kill this Muslim who's coming at me, and I have no evidence or anything that I know for sure he's going to kill me? With what excuse will I kill him? So Ibn Jirmuz tells him, I want to join, I want your companionship on this trip, meaning, let's travel together. So, uh, he said, okay. He allowed him. And they're traveling together towards Mecca. When the time for Salah came, Ibn Jirmuz, uh, Zubair said, As-Salah. And Ibn Jirmuz said, As-Salah. So, Zubair, radiallahu anhu, Ibn Awam, he got down, they made wudu and everything. And Ibn Jirmuz and the servant stayed in the back. And as soon as, 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 as Zubair ibn Awam anhu, made the takbir for Salah, Ibn Jurmuz attacked him with his knife and he killed him. And when he killed him, he took his armor and his shield and his sword and he left the servant alone. So the servant buried Zubair and he prays over him and he buries him in some grave, unknown grave, between al Basra and al Mecca and uh, he continues on his way. Ibn Jirmuz then comes to the tent of Ali and goes back to where the battle of Jamal is taking part. And he says to the, the guard outside, he says, I have good news. And he gave the sword and the shield of the Zubair to the, the guard. He says, give it to Ali and give him the good news that I've killed a Zubair. So he enters, the guard now enters and gives the sword and the shield to Ali. And Ali takes the, now, it, it was known, I mean, in the time of, uh, in that time, if someone brings you the shield and the sword of someone, it means they killed him. So, Ali took it, and he looked at it, and he started to cry. He began crying. And he said, لَقَالَمَا دَافَعَ هَذَا السَّيْفَ عَنْ وَجْهِ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ يعني, It's like, how long, and how many times, has this sword defended the face of the Prophet صلى الله عليه in battle? How many times has this sword the Zubair defended the Prophet ﷺ. And now you kill him and you bring him back to me. So he tells them, Bashir Qatil ibn Safiya bin Nar. Give the tidings of the, the hellfire to the killer of Ibn Safiya. Because they've said that there was a hadith of the same wording. The Prophet ﷺ said, the one who kills Ibn Safiya, which is a Zubair, give him, give him the tidings of the hellfire. So the guard goes out and he says to, to Ibn Jirmuz, Ali says, give the killer of the son of Safiya the news of the hellfire. So the man, Ibn Jarmuz, became afraid and he ran. Then the companions heard the news that this man killed a Zubair. So they followed him, came to kill him. And when they almost caught him, they caught up with him, they came close to him, he killed himself. He killed himself. So they stood over his body and they said, they said, Bashiru, qatila nafsihi binna. The one who killed himself, give him the tidings of the hellfire. And this man, Killed a Zubair and then he killed himself. A world of knowledge awaits you. Enroll now at almaghrib.org.